Hello, my name is René. I'm from the German Research Center for Artificial Intelligence, and together with BMW, we have developed SceneFlow fields. SceneFlow fields is a method for 3D motion estimation that uses, for the first time, interpolation of image correspondences. Often, motion is described by 2D optical flow, which is simply a vector field that describes um, the 2D translation in the image plane for each pixel. And contrary to that, scene flow describes full 3D motion and further reconstructs the 3D geometry. So for each visible point of the scene, we have position and motion in 3D. And as you can imagine, this is very beneficial for many applications, especially in the field of automotive driving and so on. So of course, there exist uh, methods that do scene flow estimation. But um, they are either very slow, only work in a controlled indoor environment, or have strong assumptions like planar surfaces and rigid motions. And of course, there's deep learning. Um, lately, some methods use semantic segmentation to aid the motion estimation process, but those generalize bad to unseen data and even worse to different domains. Our method, in contrast, tries to be very versatile and robust. And um, we achieve this by letting our matching be based only on image information, the visual information with almost no further assumptions, and then interpolate the found um, accurate matches. So how is the matching really done? We are using four images, left and right view of a rectified stereo camera at two time steps, and having the corresponding image points in all four images and the camera extrinsics and um, intrinsics. This completely describes 3D motion and 3D geometry. Our matching process um, is a multi-scale approach that is initialized on lowest resolution and then uses propagation and random search to spread and refine the initial scene flow vectors until we reach full resolution. As you can see, um, some of the matches are not um, correct, mainly because um, occluded areas um, are existent and are motions that leave the image boundaries. And we remove these areas by a consistency check. And to this end, we compute a second scene flow field that is um, based on the right view at the next time step. step and we then compare component-wise the corresponding scene flow vectors and remove them if they do not match. And the remaining matches are very accurate and visualized in the lower left half of the image. Now to recover full density, we use edge-preserving interpolation, and um, our edges are detected by a random forest that tries to find um, semantic object boundaries. And those are a very close um, yeah, approximation of motion and geometry boundaries that are really useful for 3D scene flow. And um, to recover the missing values, we compute local edge-aware neighborhood of known scene flow vectors and use those to interpolate the missing scene flow. And um, with a bit of variational refinement, this is basically it. Here is a video showing scene flow fields in action. We have a sequence of kitty um, visualized by a colored pine point cloud, and I want to highlight two things. First of all, uh, each frame is processed individually. There is no temporal consistency enforced or whatever. And secondly, our method is also able to um, compute a motion segmentation and to estimate the ego motion of the vehicle. Yeah, and that's why um, even when the vehicle is moving, the static part of the scene is really detected as static. Yeah, and considering that each frame is processed individually, the street surface and the object boundaries are quite smooth and consistent over time. Um, with that, I come to a short teaser of our results. On two public benchmarks, we achieved the third best and best uh, accuracy among all dual frame scene flow methods. Thank you very much. And for any questions, see you at the postdoc. <laughs>